Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In version 2.9, we've introduced a new feature, phasing animation. This awesome tool eliminates complex parameter settings and lets you easily create compelling and straightforward presentations for product demonstration. Structure development. Architectural analysis. Component installation. And vegetation growth. Next up, let's dive into a specific case to show you exactly how it works. Phasing animation creation involves two primary parts. First, export models for animation from DCC software using the D5 LiveSync plugin, ensuring their group structure is retained. Second, import these models into D5 and create phasing animations for them using animation templates. First things first, install the latest LiveSync plugin for your workflow. Currently, D5 LiveSync supports group export for SketchUp, Rhino, 3DS Max, and Revit. This feature will be available for additional workflows in future updates. Next, we'll show how to use the group export feature across different platforms. In SketchUp, categorize the chair and stool models into separate groups. Select both groups and click the group export button. Ensure the structure is set to two layers deep before exporting. Switch to D5 and import these models. You'll find them in the resource list, preserving their group structure. In Rhino, first organize the components into distinct layers. D5 LiveSync for Rhino provides two export methods. For models selected in the viewport, Choose Export by Object Selection. If you prefer to export based on layer organization, choose Export by Layer Selection. Set the retained structure depth as you need. Next, open D5 and import these models. And we can see these models have been organized in the resource list according to their Rhino layers. Operations in 3DS Max are pretty much similar to those in SketchUp. Select the groups for both tiles and pendant lights. And press the export button. Check selected only and set the retained group hierarchy to two layers. After importing these models into D5, you'll find them listed following the organized structure in Max. In Revit, simply select one of the objects you need for animation, instead of all of them, because the LiveSync plugin provides export options, such as export selected family types and export selected categories. Proceed to D5 and import these models. They have been neatly categorized. After exporting the models, you can navigate to D5 and complete the following steps. Here, we take Rhino models for demo. Import the site model and the building components. Select all of them. Click Sync Coordinates and they'll be aligned with each other. Let's quickly set the materials before creating phasing animations. Click the video button to activate the template panel where we've added a new animation section. You can preview each animation effect through the dynamic thumbnail. Then, switch the timelines view mode for easier editing of the phasing animation tracks. Select the drop template and pick the models you need. D5 provides multiple methods for selection. If there are a few objects, you can add them one by one by clicking in the viewport or the resource list. The selected models will be displayed in the right object list and marked in purple on the left resource list. When selecting a specific model, whether from the resource list, the viewport, or the object list, it will be highlighted to indicate the current status.
You can also delete unwanted objects by clicking the minus button. If you're working with numerous objects, batch selection will be a time saver for you. Choose the first object, and then press the shift key while clicking the last object to select all the models in between. Place the target objects into a layer. Selecting this layer will automatically include all its contents. Group the target objects together. When you click on the group, all the objects it contains will be added in batch. D5 Render also supports adding an entire group as a single entity. To select this desk group as a whole, you can press the shortcut key G, as indicated in the left corner, to switch to group selection mode. This way, selecting any individual item within the group will automatically select the entire group to which it belongs. For our project, batch selection works better. Navigate to the resource list, expand the Rhino model group, and then choose the poll group. This way, all the poll components are selected. Click Done and the Animation Control Panel will appear. A new segment featuring the phasing animation has emerged above the shot track in the timeline. You can adjust the animation's duration by either extending or shortening the segment, or by entering a precise duration value. You can also double-click to rename the segment. Right-click on the segment to access more options, including Duplicate and Cut. The segment can also be freely relocated to the time point or track where you want it to appear. If you don't need any of the segments, simply delete it. Repeat the process to select other models. And change their segment position for an appropriate sequence. Play the clip. You can see the objects appear randomly instead of moving in a specific direction as shown in the video we played at the beginning. To achieve that orderly effect, we can tweak the controllers on the right panel. First, click on a segment. Its relevant control panel provides a play button that allows you to preview only this segment. Feel free to move the camera when the animation plays. Click the button shaped like a cube in the object panel and drag objects to change their sequence. This order is also the default sequence for animating the objects. For this project, when we click to add the cube, sphere, and cone in turn, they will also appear in this sequence. After shifting their order, the animation will change accordingly. Manually sorting works best when you're dealing with just a few models. However, if you get a bunch of objects and prefer them to follow a directional sequence, an auto-sort feature will come in handy. Simply change the sorting method to sort by world coordinate and select the y-axis as the reference. Play the segment again to see the updated animation effect. Choosing other axes will change the directional sequence thus creating different animation effects. Next up, Time Interval. D5 provides three effects, each with a dynamic thumbnail. One, simultaneous, which means all the objects appear at the same time. Two, cascading, which animates the objects in a smooth flowing sequence. 3. Sequential, which ensures each object appears only after the previous one has completed its motion. For most conditions, the cascading effect is recommended. Furthermore, D5 provides the option to customize the time interval. You can preview the effects in real time when dragging the interval controller.
The distance value determines how far each object should move. The visibility panel allows you to set if the objects are visible before the start or after the end of an animation. For example, if you need the objects to be hidden before the animation plays but remain visible afterward, simply select visibility after the end. Check both visibility before the start and visibility after the end if you want to display the objects throughout the entire clip. Simply put, you can choose the options based on your own preference. Last but not least, you can add more interesting effects to enhance the animation. For this animation, rotation allows each object within the segment to rotate while maintaining their initial movement. You can change the rotation degree and the axis of rotation direction, or simply enable a random effect with one click. Some templates support the scale bounce effect, which can rapidly scale up and down each object when they finish their motion. That's it. An impressive phasing animation has been created after some simple adjustments. Let us finish the rest of the segments. Play the entire shot and see how it looks. Now we can add some decorations, characters, and plants. Enter the video panel again to create a shot. We've effortlessly completed a lively architectural phasing animation using a few templates. If you haven't tried D5 before, be sure to visit d5render.com and download it for free. Welcome to share your creative animations with us. Thanks for watching.